Franco is undoubtedly one of the best freestyle battle MCs of all time. He's so high energy, he's so technical, and at ease with almost any beat or situation. There's a few things that have kept Franco, in my mind, from being able to be exposed to the mainstream. I think he should be much, much more popular online, and I'd like to explain what may have held him back. For one, Franco's most active years, 2006, 2007, 2008, were at the cusp of the internet becoming very accessible as far as YouTube and Facebook being the center where people came together to talk about and appreciate rap battles. If you watch one Franco video now, it's easy to find 10 more, but 10 years ago it was much more difficult to find all of his material. Another thing is that a lot of the performances he was doing weren't even being captured. People like Philip Drummond and Kyle Gray, before the Battle Rap League started, were doing their best to show up to events and videotape them and then make DVDs and share those with the public or sell them at the least. Trading these DVDs was more difficult, and most of the times, even the event organizers putting on a freestyle rap battle tournament wouldn't be filming it themselves and wouldn't plan on distributing it unless it was at the largest level, such as Scribble Jam. Another problem with why Franco might not have been exposed to the mainstream or at least been larger in the underground is that his name is very hard to Google. Franco, short for Francesco, is one of the most popular names in the world. So if I search Franco music album or music video, there's hundreds of other competitors using the same name. One other problem, and the one that's hardest to talk about, is that Franco was his own manager and may be, from an outside perspective, a little disorganized or discombobulated mentally. Right now, Franco seems to be making no effort to have his material online or ready to purchase. In cataloging his music, it was really hard to find which songs went to which albums. So if I have one labeled wrong, please forgive me. I just wasn't able to find the source for that. He started making albums in 2001 on four-track tape recorders and distributed them in physical copies. Even to get his DVD, you have to send him a request for him to mail it to you. So he's kind of this strange turning point figure between digital and the real world, where if you want to get the art, you actually have to have him mail it to you in person, which is a fun way to interact, but considering he's kind of completely dropped off of social media and dropped out of the world at large for the last few years, it makes it now almost impossible to find his art. The reason I put this collection online is because of these reasons, because I think it's hard for him to find, because I think he's underexposed. So enjoy Franco's material. Go to versetracker.com and search Franco. You can find all the other battles that have already been cataloged. It's easy to find his documentary, Where Are You From? that was filmed in 2006 and 2007 that features him going to Scribble Jam 2007 and ultimately losing in the finals to No Can Do, a turning point in his career. I highly recommend finding it on Amazon.com. You can rent it for $2.99. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for tuning into the channel.